In a 2022 paper titled Measuring Progress on Scalable Oversight for Large Language Models, a group of researchers tested out how well sandwiching might work. In their experiment, they hired non-experts to try to solve two different types of tasks. One task was answering multiple choice questions on the Massive Multitask Language Understanding Benchmark, or the MMLU for short. This has hundreds of questions, ranging from college-level physics to abstract questions on morality. The other task was answering questions about short stories on a five-minute deadline, when such stories would ordinarily take 15 to 30 minutes to read in full. Participants were asked to answer the questions and to rate how confident they were in the correctness of each answer, with the goal of reaching the highest level of accuracy on the questions from the two datasets. The researchers made some simplifying assumptions for the experimental setup. The oversight technique was a simple back-and-forth text conversation with a language model to help augment the knowledge of the participants. And instead of human answers, they used the correct answers from the two tests. Despite the simplifications, the core of the sandwiching paradigm was preserved. When measured individually, the model outperformed unassisted humans on both tasks by a large margin. This means the basic condition for testing sandwiching, the model being better than the non-experts, was fulfilled. Over the course of the experiment, the participants got pretty good at using the chatbot to probe for facts. They also learned to break down complicated questions into simpler parts, which helped them understand the chatbot's answers better. So the assisted humans got substantially better scores than either unassisted humans or the model on its own. They didn't manage to match expert-level performance estimated in other studies, though. 